Atlanta Falcons new head coach Arthur Smith does such a great job in creating formations that fit the personnel. Check out a few plays I use formation to his advantage. I got two plays I'm going to show you from the Tennessee Titans playing against the Minnesota Vikings where they marry a stretch run and they use that same stretch run to throw a pass off of it, but also how motion affects the defense and how just shifting a tight end on one side or another affects the defense and gives you numbers, especially in the run game. And here's the play I'm talking about here. So you're going to start. Here's the tight end on the backside. This is a simple 11 personnel. That's something that Arthur Smith does really well. He changes the formation. He changes the personnel a lot. There have been a lot of different personnel and formations to the defense. And pre-snap now, here's what I want you to notice. Here, they're gonna, they want to run this outside zone, little stretch zone run here. When we talk about numbers in the box, it's all about the numbers compared to where the football is on this side of the ball where you want to run the football. So right now, you have one, two, three, four, and sometimes you count this guy as well, but four guys to that side is not good numbers to run this stretch zone. Now watch a pre-snap. Motion, bring the line, the tight end over, and now you change totally what happened. Let's go back just for a half a second. This guy, this guy, this guy, they're all on this side of the ball here. So now the numbers don't look good. When you motion this guy, shift them over just one. Now you see how they bumped over? So now this guy's on the other side of the football. So now the numbers look good for you now. Now you only have one, two, three guys on this side for your three linemen to block this outside stretch. You're gonna have your receiver over here to block this force player, but now you have leverage. Now if you wanna get this, this center up on this backer, it makes it even better. So now watch as the play develops. You got the numbers you want. Now you get outside. Now look at this. You got a hat on a hat, everybody. Good blocking on the outside. He still blocks on the outside. And this is similar to what the Falcons love to do, this stretch run. They have athletic linemen where they can get out and do this already that's on the roster. And now you create a nice run on first down. You pick up five, six yards on first down. And now let's talk about how we married the same play in the pass game. Just talked about how the run game mirrors the pass game and you change up the personnel, you change up the formation. Here's a similar play. It's a different formation. It's a different personnel in group. Now you have two tight ends in the ballgame. So this is 22 personnel. So you have two tight ends and you have two backs. But it's going to be the same look to the defense as far as the exact play. You're going to think you're going to run stretch zone here and you're going to get a small little boot out of it. Now you still have this receiver who we talked about in the last clip that's in this tight split. This guy thinks this is the most dangerous. So this still looks the same to this defense. Now on the snap of the ball, this guy's gonna motion across. This tight end's gonna motion across and now it changes the rotation. These guys are gonna go back to the middle and now you're gonna get him coming on a big over route and you're gonna get a stop and go on the outside. But because of the action up front, it affects everybody up here, which gives you the ability to throw this football. Here comes the motion across now. Now look at it, change the look of the defense. Now you have what you want. You think you're going to run stretch. You still have the numbers to this side that you like here because you have an extra guy on the back side. Now you mirror. There's a stretch run look. It looks exactly the same. Look at these linebackers. Everybody is up in the frame. You got eight guys up there, and now you only have three guys on the back end. Now because of the threat of the run and because it looks so similar to the run game, and now you have pretty much everything you want. If he wants to throw this deep over, he has it. His safety is kind of in no man's land. Now you get a stop and go on the outside. We know how good Calvin really has been on double moves. Now you create the big play off that same action, and boom, you create a really explosive play down the field. This is some of the things that Arthur Smith does really well. Changing the formation, changing the motion of the shift, but ideally it's the exact same play just out of a different formation, and he makes the defense guess every time and you come up with a big play like this. With Arthur Smith's offense, so many things are predicated off the run. And you know what I mean by that is the run game will mirror. And I say mirror as in match, marry the pass game. So whatever you see in the run game will look very similar to what you see in the pass game and they will look identical. So it looks really the same to the, to the defense, but really it's the same play out of the information, but with play action. Let's, let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So the first thing I talk about is always motion. He always uses motion to figure out what's going on with the defense. For this one, it's all about info. This one, we start at the top. The tight end starts at the top. He's going to come in motion. Now, this little small motion 
it gives an identification of what's going on in his defense. Now you think, okay, nobody came with him. If this guy would have came inside, he knows right now it's man, but it's not, it's zone. So now this tells everybody up front who I have to block. So you get the first thing, you get an identification of man or zone with this run. The Titans want to run outside zone. Outside zone is everybody's reach blocking, reach blocking here. But he does such a good job of putting him in position to block this particular play. Now you have a chance to get to the outside and create this unique zone. And I mean, I talked about the split zone. This is one of their number one runs that Arthur Smith loves is the split zone. And we use the split zone as well to block and cut off this backside so that he can't run down and make the play. Or you use it as a guy who comes out and he can catch the football out the backfield. But also remember, look at this guy. This is Mac on the outside. He understands who can damage an offense because of this guy. So now as the play starts, you're going to see him come across. He's going to cut across that edge. And now you have it completely cut off. You have it completely blocked. And the most dangerous guy is out here. Because of this split zone action, now you have a crease to run through. And he provides it for him there. Picks up a good five, six yards there on that particular play. Now let's jump into the other side of this. All right, you have a similar formation here. You still got a couple tight ends here. Off the ball, but you're going to make it look like split zone again. Split zone this time is going to actually go away from it, and then the action is going to go this way. Now, it looks similar to the previous play to the defense because you're going to get this action away and this action coming at you. But now you're going to open up a void to hit this on the outside and play action. Watch these linebackers on the split zone flow coming here and watch you create a nice void to throw the football here. And it all looks exactly the same. The run game mirroring the pass game and it all comes together. Boom. There's your tight end going split flow. Look at these linebackers. Their eyes are downhill. Their first steps are downhill. Now look at all this room you already have because of the split zone flow. Showing the football to the to the defense. Now they're a little weary of, is it run? Is it pass? Now you come off, and now look at this huge void. These are those same linebackers that were just up in the, in the fray here. Now you get an opportunity to throw the football off play action. You got all six or seven guys in this box that are looking at this run and now creates a huge catch and run on the backside. And this could easily be Julio Jones on the backside. He's usually on the backside of most of these routes. Isolated, you got off corner. It could be Calvin really. I mean, whoever you want on that backside, you know can run really good routes as we still have those two guys. It creates the void you want. And here's the split zone flow. You come off of it and you mirror the run and the pass game together and it creates a huge play for the Titans on this play. And this is something that you can expect to see from the Falcons this season with that split zone run. And you marry that with the play action passes, which the Falcons have always wanted to be. Call for that run game, pass game, big play.